very much for having me on your show. For the last five, six years, you, I mean, we at NewsX have been constantly, constantly demanding one thing. Sheikh Hasina Didi has to come and condemn it, that has done. She has to come and give clear instructions that these people should be booked and handled, she has done it. She has to come and ensure that the Home Minister of Bangladesh ensures no action is, I mean, these disasters do not happen. All the preventive actions need to be put in place, that has been done. Mm -hmm. But now the taste of the pudding is in eating the pudding. Now the intention, direction, you know, that uh, uh, what you call Adesh Parit Karnan, all that is done. Now let's see if this stalls because at the end of the day, you cannot keep on blaming Jamaat Islami for that. You cannot keep on blaming Islamic Shastro Sangatan for this. How long can we keep on blaming these groups for this? Because at the end of the day, you are in the control. You are at the driving seat. You are controlling the things. I'm very happy she has given up these statements. We are all for it. But at the end of the day, now what we are looking at is the one thing, two important things. One thing is prevention. We don't want Bangladesh to become like Pakistan, where the Pakistan PM Niazi reacts after the incident. It cannot be like that. Point mm. number two, there are very sacred. I want to repeat on your show, Megaji, there are very sacred seven Shakti Peets of Mahadi Shakti in Bangladesh. We want 101 pro protection, person protection of that. We want Madam Sheikh Hasina, Sheikh Hasina Didi to assure us never ever these Shakti Peets will be touched by let it be Jamaat Islami, Islamic Shastro Sangatan, or whatever their names are. They're all ISI affiliates. And third, and the last thing I want to say now is you know, the world is looking at you, Didi. You are the only Muslim country which claims to be secular. But if it is the plight of Hindus, sorry, that image is going down the drain. You have to do something. We also have a tipping point here. And the last point, Megaji, is now isn't it clear? Isn't it explicit clear? That so-called Facebook post, which started all this ruckus, mm -hmm. was done by Jamaat Islami. Now, can we say and conclude, ISI, Jamaat Islami, and these Islamic Sangatans also used used Holy Quran to create this fermentation. Quran ko bhi nahi bakste ye log. This is what their real character is. Mm -hmm. They have used Quran. They have made a fake video using Holy Quran, and they have literally insulted the Holy Quran, orchestrated a video, and caused this riot. This is what is the real face of ISI. Okay. Okay, all right. So, 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 obviously, okay, all right. Uh, Professor Ma CAA is the name of, is the answer to the problem. There are 56 Muslim or Islamic countries in the world and there is one Hindu country. There's only one Hindu country on the world, that is India. There's by default, any issue across the world has a default, de facto default home, that is Israel. Likewise, all the Hindus, all the Sikhs, all the outshoots of Hinduism have a default home or a country to fall back on, that is India. Mm -hmm. When the population of Hindus in Bangladesh from 24%, it is 8%, 66% of the Hindu population are wiped out. Hindus are nowhere in the economy, Hindus are nowhere in the politics, Hindus are nowhere in the power. And you know now if these targeted attacks keep on happening on them, that is what Ambassador Ma'am rightly told. I mean, now the time to action is there. Now, but after, if the action doesn't happen, what is the fallback? Now, where is the fallback? If you are a Muslim, you can go to any 56 countries. But if you are a Hindu, where will you go? If you go to another country, the same fate will follow. The only safe land or the heaven or where you can survive is India. If you don't come to India, if you don't open up our arms for that, who else will? As a Hindus, it's our moral right, duty and obligation to do that. And let me congratulate NewsX, you and your channel for last six days at miscaring for the TRPs and picking up some you know, cheap tamasha. You have been pleading this cause. And this is the impact today. All the international bodies, all the forums and all the Hindus across the world are talking about it. Right. Hindus are one-fifth of the humanity. Ma'am, how can somebody take us for granted? This is not accepted and if any Hindu across the world will be hurt or his rights will be tarnished or he will be hunted down, we will raise our human cry. We are duty bound to do it. We are 24,000 old civilization. Don't take us for granted. You know, Abrahamic faiths are only 1400 years old. You cannot take Hindus and Hindu faith for granted. The day we start hitting to our size, the world will fall in place. And let me tell you one last point. India is secular till that time. Hindu chooses to be secular. This message has to go loud, clear and explicit to all those who matter anywhere in the world. Okay. Uh, Professor Nalapa then. I